So now let's talk about a new compound that's formed using condensation polymerization and this compound is Dacron. And Dacron is mostly found in your shirts, in your bed linen and it's very common to found it in clothing and stuff like that. So Dacron is also know, known as terylene and let's see how Dacron is formed. Now if you watched the previous video regarding nylon, this is going to be kind of easier for you because you're already familiar with the process. So we first label them as compound A and compound B. And compound A is 1,4-dicarboxylic acid benzene because benzene is in the middle, it's considered our backbone. And it's 1,4-dicarboxylic because carboxylic acids are linked to the first and the fourth carbon. And the second compound we have is compound B, and it's 1,2-dioethane. Now, these two compounds are going to react to form our polymer. And we said that only the functional groups are the ones responsible for the whole process. So these are our functional groups. And let's see how can we draw this in a more simpler way to make our lives easier. So the same process as we did before. Let's start. If you want to pause the video now and try doing the the new representation yourself that's going to be a good idea so what we're going to have is a carbon here double bonded to an O and then an OH bond and here is our backbone which we're going to represent by a block and then we have our functional group again and then we move on to compound B and we're going to have the OH bond and a backbone and then an OH bond so this is how we're going to represent our compounds in a more simpler, shorter way in order not to confuse ourselves and in order to see the reaction more clearly. Now, we said we either expect a water molecule or an HCl molecule along with the polymer. So in the previous video in nylon, we saw that we produced an HCl molecule. Now let's see what's going to happen right here. So what's going to happen is the following. The OH bond right here is going to react with the H from compound B to produce H2O. Now here we formed our water molecule plus the polymer. So the polymer in this case will be Dacron. So let's see, let me draw the polymers right here to make it clear for you guys and you can see it more clearly so the polymer here will be Dacron now let's see how the polymer will be formed as I said in the previous video you start from the left so we draw our carbon double bonded to an O and then an OH and then we have our backbone and then we have the functional group. Now stop right here and we said that now we don't have the OH and we don't have the H from compound B. So what we get is a double bond here and then an O right here and then the backbone and then an OH bond. So this is part of Dacron. This is not all of Dacron. This is a part of it and we said if we're gonna form all of Dacron, we're going to react more of compound B here and more of compound B there in order to expand our polymer. Now let's analyze our polymer like we did in the nylon. Now here we have a linkage and this linkage or bond is called an ester linkage or bond. Let's call it a bond so we can be consistent. So an ester bond. And if we form more units of this, we get Dacron, and this is why Dacron is called a polyester compound. And you often hear this in shops where you go shopping and you ask the salesperson what's this made of, he tells you polyester. So this is polyester or Dacron because we have an ester bond and if we keep on repeating this unit, we get a polyester bond. Now, that's it for making Dacron. 
I hope this was easier for you guys because this is the second time you're hearing about condensation polymerization and, re and the reaction that involves those groups, those uh, compounds, excuse me. So uh, that's it, we're done with condensation polymerization. These were the two compounds that you guys are responsible for, which were nylon and dacron. So good luck and thanks for watching.